So guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for more Seven Engineering updates. Today our lecture is about the deflection and beams. We are going to find the deflection and beam. And here, first of all, I will uh, mention the two types of deflection limits is per the American Concrete Institute. There are two types of deflection limits mentioned by the ACI. One is the uh, L by 360, is span of the beam. L is the span of the beam and one is the L by 240. This is according as per the live load deflection, live load, and this is the deflection limit of the dead load coming on the beam. So in case when the load acts on, on the beam, for example here consider the beam here and when the load acts on this beam it will deflect and it will show the maximum deflection at the center of the beam. So your maximum deflection, if I find here the maximum deflection, maybe of anything, so it should not be greater than this value. This is the maximum allowable deflection limit by the live load. When the live load acts on the, this beam, if there is a dead load acting on this beam, so your deflection, maximum deflection due to dead load should not be greater than this value. These are the limits according to the ACI maximum allowable limits of the deflection as per the ACI and the flexure members and the beam. So I will explain these two by taking one example and I will solve this example and then it will be helpful to you people. Let's take an example of beam here supported at the simply supported beam and this uniformly distributed load acting on this beam is live load only is 2 k per foot and the length of the total beam is 10 foot this is the L length of the beam and we are going to find the maximum deflection and then I will compare this maximum deflection of this beam it will bend like this and there is a maximum deflection delta maximum and the maximum deflection in the beam due to live load here is the live load acting it should not be greater than the L by 360 or we can say that the putting the values here L is 10 foot and to 12 I'm converting into inches 12, 1 foot is 12 inches so it will become 360 it will become 0 0.033 inches so the maximum deflection allowable uh, due to the live load coming on the beam is this and our deflection in this case should not be greater than this it should be less than that value as per ACI recommendation so now let's suppose there's a beam acting in the cross section of the beam here I'm drawing that the width of this beam is 8 inches and the height of this beam is 12 inches is the height of this beam H so now let's uh, come into its maximum to find the maximum value of the deflection. To find the maximum value of the deflection, uh, there is a proof uh, to find the maximum value, and we will know that the uh, the value of the maximum deflection at the center of the simply supported beam is WL by 4 into EI, where this is the constant value, 5 by 384 constant value. W is the weight load acting on the beam is per foot L is the length of the beam E is the elasticity of the car of the steel here used and elasticity is 29,000 KSI of the steel and I is the moment of inertia of this section so by putting all these values and I will find the maximum deflection and then I will compare with this value that is our beam is safe or not so coming the W W is 2 k per foot so how so I will add it here the maximum deflection 5 by 384 the constant value W is in this case is the 2 but 2 k per foot so I will change into inches so I so I will convert into inches so I will divide it by 12 and then we have length length of the beam 10 foot I will again change into inches 10 into 12 power 4 is the power 4 is there 
and then again dividing it by E. E of the uh, this elasticity of the steel is 29,000 and then I is the moment of inertia of this section. I will find the moment of inertia here I is equal to if the I of this beam section is rectangular beam so we can find by BH cube divided by 12 and I is equal to the B is the putting the values 12 and 2 height is the 12 inches cube divided by 12 and I by calculating I get the value of 1 1 5 2 the moment of inertia so as I put all this value in this formula so I get my maximum deflection as 0 0.013 inches yeah we are safe we are on the safe side so this section is now safe why because is the ACI shows us tells us that this limit is always every deflection beam should be less than this value so our value is less than 0 0.33 inches due to the live load so our beam in this case is per according to the ACI American and Concrete Institute uh, recommendation so our beam is safe and is well designed and that's all about the uh, how to find and how to know about deflection in the beams now as I put the dead load here the dead load as I consider this is a dead load and 2 k per foot is the dead load coming on the beam and here if I change the uh, the, the, the only this calculation with the dead load uh, condition is L by 240 dead load condition is L by 240 so I will get the same I will get the wheel of 0.5 inches now this this these are the now dead load calculations then let's suppose our load is coming as the dead load coming on the beam so in this case our answer is 0 0.5 inches similarly in this case our beam is also less than 0 0.5 inches it means that our beam is also safe as we put the dead load on the beam so our beam is now on as per the uh, ACI deflection limits so it's okay there's no problem in the beam let's come into the another deflection formulas for another types of the beam is the and uh, another scenario of the beams maybe this is not only the uh, simply supported beam and the uniformly load coming on the beam then maybe some other classes like for example this is the simply supported beam but the metal load is acting as the, unif as the concentrated load coming on the beam this is the load P and this is the length of the beam let's suppose so to find this deflection we can find its maximum deflection here at the center will be and this maximum deflection can be found out by using the formula PL cube over 48 into EI Similarly, P is the load acting in caps or in any unit, L is the length of the beam, 48 is a constant, E is the elasticity of the steel, 29,000, and I is the moment of inertia of the section. So in this case, now considering the, uh, let's suppose, cantilever beam, and this is a cantilever beam, and the uniform load is acting on the beam, so it will deform maximum here, and the maximum deflection will be here, so the maximum deflection for the cantilever beam here is the W L power 4 into 8 E I where W is a unit or is the weight unit weight acting on the beam and L is the length of the beam and E is the elasticity and I is the moment of, of inertia of the section. So these were a little about the cantilever beam and the uniform load acting uh, sorry the concentrated load acting on the beam. So this was all about the a deflection of beams and the limits provided by the ACI and I will upload more videos about the different uh, topics in civil engineering and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates thank you